In this video, I want to go over the different layouts you can have in Spectre WM and how to customize them. The settings in the config file give you a very fine control over how the windows are well laid out on your screen. Once you know the number sequence and everything and kind of wrap your head around that whole deal. So let's look at the man page, shall we? So in the man page, there is a layout section, and this is really the only thing that we're going to kind of occupy ourselves with here today. In the layout section, you can see that there's different stacking modes available, and the stacking modes are vertical, vertical flip, horizontal, horizontal flip, and max. And everything on here can be customized aside from max, of course. The way you can do this is by, gr by growing the master, shrinking the master, adding windows to the master, deleting windows from the master, increasing the windows in the stack, uh, in the slave stack, decreasing in the slave stack. Stack balance is really just uh, balance out the windows between master and stack, and always rates. Now there is a syntax here that you need that you need to know, but it's really not that hard to kind of wrap your head around. So once you go into your config file, you'll see a layout section. And once we get to the layout section here, let's do And once you find your layout section here, you will see it's pretty straightforward. You have layout equals workspace 1 and you have a several zeros and colons and you have a and vertical um, yours may yours may say horizontal vertical flip horizontal flip max something like that but that is just the stacking mode right here is where the magic happens this first zero right here actually signifies by how much you want to grow or shrink the master window the second zero is how many windows you want to add to the master before it starts populating the slave set, the slave stack. Right here is how this zero, your third zero, is the number of windows in the slave stack that you want to increase by before it starts stacking them, if that makes any sense. I'll show it off here in a minute. And the last zero is for always raise. And what always raise does is actually allow the tiled windows to obscure a floating window. And the last thing here, of course, is your stack is your stacking mode. The stacking mode, of course, kind of governs how the rest of these layout on the screen depending on the mode that it's selected. So let's flip over to the other PC real quick and I will show off how all of this kind of works together. Here we are on our other PC. So let's fire up a terminal and let's look at uh, our spectrewm.conf file. So I like Vim, so we're going to do vim.spectrewm.conf. And right here you see in the layouts, I have something very similar. This The original layouts that you were looking at was actually on my main PC. This one is actually on the secondary PC that I can actually log out, log back in, and never stop recording. So the layout of my first workspace here is all zeros and vertical stack. So if I show that off, I can just fire up a bunch of terminals. So let's do, it splits it in half and then start stacking master and stack layout. But here on workspace two, I have a minus two here. So if we go to workspace two, so I'm just gonna send this one workspace too. Now if we start stacking you see how the master side is a, is a little bit narrower than your slave side. That's all that that's all that negative two does. It actually just skinnies up the, the master side. To show off the other side of this let's go to workspace three. I'm going to send this to workspace three, go to workspace three, and then let's say I fire up another terminal. And I actually use this layout. I'm using it right now on my main PC. So I have OBS in this window on my main PC. And I have my file manager open right here 
on my other monitor of my main PC. And that's really just a good sanity check because I like to have the file manager open where my OBS recordings will populate. And that way, when I hit the record button, I like to see a new file, a new video file created. Because I can't tell you how many times I've just been sitting here talking for 10 or 15 minutes. And I've just been sitting here in a room by myself talking like an idiot. Then again, who's to say I'm not doing that now? <laughs> so, Workspace 4 is the max layout. So, all, the, so all that's going to do... So, so, let me just kill this one and send this to Workspace 4. We'll go to Workspace 4, and you see it's full screen. But now, everything is full screen. So, if I hit Mod and Space and cycle the layouts... The max stacking layout is the default in Workspace 4. So now let's look at Workspace 5. Workspace 5 is the horizontal layout with the master skinnied up by two ticks. So we're going to mod shift 5. You can see the slave stack is actually on the bottom. If we did horizontal flip, this would be on the bottom, and I'm going to show that off in just a minute as well. But, you see, this one is actually a little bit skinnier than this one. So if I keep creating win uh, terminal windows, you see it's just a master and stack layout, but flipped 90 degrees. And this one is the crazy one that I, that I wanted to show off. So we have... Skinnied up the master the master stack by four ticks. We have added one window to the master. We've added two windows to the stack or to the slave stack. And this one's probably not going to show anything here because I don't have any floating windows. So let's let's send this to workspace six. We'll go to workspace six. I mean, you can you can play you can play around with this and get just about any kind of layout you want. And I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool anyway. So what I want to do is actually edit Workspace Five and make it a horizontal flip. So let's add one or to the master stack. Let's add one to the slave stack, and let's make this horizontal flip. So. So once you write and quit, if you go to Workspace 5 and use a Start Populating Windows, it's, gonna, it's doing the same exact thing as it did. You actually have to log out and log back in. So let's kill all the windows and log out. Start X. We'll go to Workspace 5. And now we'll start populating with windows. And so that, that's kind of a cool layout. I'm not sure how useful it is, but it looks cool. Another thing that you can do in Spectre WM that I forgot to mention the other day when I was doing all this. Let's go back to Workspace 1. And so over here in your SpectreWM.com file, on your bar action, or bar format rather, if you add an M somewhere in here, you'll get this zero at the top. And what that is, is actually the amount of minimized windows that you have on each workspace. I'm not 100% sure about the usefulness of this because if you're, in my opinion, if I'm using a tiling window manager, nothing is ever minimized. It's either on my screen or it's closed. But if you did want to minimize something, you can with this. So what you'll have is you'll put an M here in your bar format somewhere up here. And on down the list, I added, well, you have bind iconify, and I have that bound to mod plus I. And bind uniconify is mod shift I. So let's try this out real quick. So I'm going to open up a couple of windows. Let's open up Firefox. And let's open up uh, PC Man FM. 
And let's also open up, I don't know, let's say another terminal. So if we try to iconify something, let's iconify our, our main window. So let's do super and I. And you see our, and I can't, you can't really see it very well here, but I do, I have a one up here in the top bar now. So if I do that for all of them, I have four minimized windows. So if I go to uniconify or unminimize, I'll do super shift and I or mod shift and I, and it will pull up D menu. This will give you a selectable D menu here for all of your minimized windows. So I have, I have a terminal here. I have a restore session for Firefox. I have another terminal and I have uh, PC Man FM. So if I wanted to restore PC Man FM, I could just go to this one here and select it with enter. So mod shift and I, and let's say I wanted to bring Firefox back. And there we go. So if you wanted to maximize, be able to maximize and minimize windows in Spectre WM, or, or I'm, which I'm not sure why you'd want to in a tiling window manager, but that's not for me to decide. So th this is a feature that's, ad that, that's added into it, and I just wanted to show it. So if you would like to be able to minimize your windows, you can do that. I would just like to have something in the bar to show if something is minimized. So that's why I added the M to the bar format, and I added min right next to it. So I would know I have zero minimized windows on this workspace. Mod I. And that minimizes everything. Mod Shift I, Mod Shift I. So that's about all I've got for today. I was going to go a little deeper into the bar, but it's but come to find out, uh, Spectre WM has gotten a point a point release update from 3.2 to 3.3, where they have added features that I did not have in my Buster config. So I went ahead and updated from Buster to Bullseye. And that actually gave me a new version of Spectre WM. It brought me from 3.2 to 3.3. And it would let you edit colors, edit fonts, edit different layouts, uh, be able to add weight and uh, what's, weight and justify to different part, to different things in the bar itself. But I was and I was going to make that video today instead instead of this one. <laughs> but you know, as it but as it turns out. Uh, I opened up my YouTube feed and uh, DT had made an excellent video about the bar in Spectre WM. It was an excellent, excellent video. I enjoyed it a lot. If you have not seen that video, I'll try to remember to link that down in the description. It is excellent. So thank you, DT. Yeah, that's really about all I've got for today. So thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.